The History of the USS Hornet CV-12 The USS Hornet is an Essex-class aircraft carrier built for the United States Navy during World War II. She was originally named the USS Kursarge, but was renamed in honor of the prior USS Hornet CV-8, which was lost in October 1942, becoming the eighth ship to bear the name in the Navy. Completed in 1943, the ship participated in the Pacific War. Hornet then took part in Operation Magic Carpet, returning troops to the U.S. She served in the Vietnam War and also played a part in the Apollo program, recovering Apollo 11 and the Apollo 12 astronauts as they returned from the moon. Hornet was decommissioned in 1970. She eventually designated as both a historical landmark and a California historical landmark. And she is open to the public as the USS Hornet Museum in Alameda, California in 1998. Construction 1940 to 1943. The contract to build the Kursarge had been given to Newport News Shipbuilding on September 9th, 1940. And her keel was laid down on August 3rd, 1942. The 7th Hornet CV-8 was sunk in the Battle of Santa Cruz on October 26th. 1942, and the CV-12 hull was renamed the Hornet. Larger and more advanced than her Yorktown-class namesake, she was launched on August 30, 1943. Commissioned on November 29, 1943, her first commanding officer was Captain Miles R. Browning. Service History World War II, 1944-1947 the Hornet conducted shakedown training off Bermuda before departing Norfolk on February 14, 1944 to join the Fast Carrier Task Force on March 20th in the Marshall Islands. After lending air support to protect the invasion beaches in New Guinea, she conducted massive aerial raids against Japanese bases in the Carolina Islands and prepared to support the amphibious assault for the occupation of the Mariana Islands. On June 11th, Hornet launched raids on Tinan and Saipan. The following day, she conducted heavy bombing attacks on Guam and Rota. On June 15th through the 16th, she blasted Japanese airfields at Iwo Jima and Chichijima to prevent airstrikes on troops invading Saipan in the Marianas. The afternoon of June 18th, Hornet formed with a fast carrier a task force to intercept Japanese first mobile fleet, heading through the Philippine Sea for Saipan. The Battle of the Philippine Sea began on June 19th when the Hornet launched strikes to destroy many land-based Japanese planes, as possible before the carrier-based Japanese aircraft came in effectively. The Japanese approached the American carriers in four massive waves, full of young and inexperienced pilots. Fighter aircraft from the Hornet and other U.S. carriers whose veteran pilot skills were honed to perfection broke up and savaged all the attacks before the Japanese aerial raiders reached the task force. Nearly every Japanese aircraft was shot down in the great air battles of June 19th that came to be commonly known as the Mariana Turkey Shoot. As Japanese mobile fleet fled in defeat on June 20th, the carriers launched a long-range airstrike that sank the Japanese aircraft carrier Hayo and so damaged two tankers that were abandoned and scuttled. Vice Admiral Ozawaya own flag log for June 20th, 1944, showed his surviving carrier air power as only 35 operational aircraft out of the 430 planes with which he had commenced the Battle of the Philippine Sea. Hornet based in Inwetak in the Marshalls, raiding Japanese installations ranging from Guam to the Bonnies, then turned her attention to the Polaris throughout the Philippine Sea and two Japanese bases on Okinawa and Formosoa. Her aircraft gave direct support to the troops invading Leyte on October 20th, 1944, during the battle for Leyte Gulf. She launched damaging raids on the Japanese center force in the Battle of Samar. 
and hasten the retreat of the Japanese fleet through the Saiban Sea through Borneo. In the following months, Hornet attacked Japanese shipping and airfields throughout the Philippines. This included participation in a raid destroying the entire Japanese convoy in Omak Bay. On December 30th, she departed the Carolinas for a raid against Forsoma, Indochina, and the Pescardo Islands. En route back to the Carolinas, Hornet's planes conducted photo reconnaissance of Okinawa on January 22, 1945, to aid the planned invasion of the last stepping stone to Japan. Hornet again departed the Carolinas on February 10th for, for a full-scale aerial assaults on Tokyo, then supported the amphibious landing assaults on Iwo Jima on February 19th through the 20th. Repeated raids were made against the Tokyo Plains Industrial Complex, and Okinawa was hit hard. On April 1st, Hornet planes gave direct support to the amphibious assault landings on Okinawa. On April 6, her aircraft joined in the attacks which sank the Japanese battleship Yamato and her task force as it closed in on Okinawa. The Hornet launched three torpedoes and her aircraft dropped four bombs on the Yamato. The following two months found Hornet altering between close support to ground troops on Okinawa and hard-hitting raids to destroy the industrial capability of Japan. She was caught in a howling typhoon June 4th to the 5th, which collapsed some 25 feet of her forward flight deck. For 16 continuous months, she was in action in the forward areas of the Pacific Combat Zone, sometimes within 40 miles of the Japanese home islands. Under attack 59 times, she was never hit. Her aircraft destroyed 1,410 Japanese aircraft. Only the Essex exceeded this record. Ten of her pilots attained ace-in-a-day status. Thirty of her 42 VF-2 F6F Hellcat pilots were aces. In one day, her aircraft shot down 72 Japanese aircraft. And in one month, they shot down 255 aircraft. Hornet supported nearly every Pacific amphibious landing after March 1944. Her air groups destroyed or damaged 1,269,710 tons of Japanese shipping and scored the critical first hits in sinking the Yamato. The USS Hornet earned nine battle stars for her service in World War II. Seven battle stars were earned as the sole receiver in 1944. Two were earned together as the Hornet and her air groups when the Navy changed their nomenclature in 1945. She was one of nine carriers to be awarded the Presidential Unit Citation. Following the typhoon that collapsed the forward edge of her flight deck, Hornet was routed back to the Philippines and from there to San Francisco, arriving July 7th. Her overhaul was completed by September 13th, when she departed as part of Operation Magic Carpet that saw her return troops home from the Marianas and the Hawaiian Islands. She returned to San Francisco on February 9th, 1946. She decommissioned there on January 15th, 1947, and joined the Pacific Reserve Fleet. Peacetime Tensions, 1951 to 1959. The USS Hornet was recommissioned on March 20, 1951, then sailed from San Francisco for the New York Naval Shipyard, where she was decommissioned on May 12th for conversion to an attack aircraft carrier, CVA-12, under the SBC-27 upgrade program. On September 11, 1953, she was recommissioned as an attack carrier. The ship then trained in the Caribbean Sea before departure from Norfolk on May 11, 1954, on an eight-month global cruise. After operations in the Mediterranean and the Indian Ocean, Hornet joined the Mobile 7th Fleet in the South China Sea to search for survivors of a Cathay Pacific Airways passenger plane shot down by Chinese aircraft near the Highland Islands. On July 25th, the Hornet aircraft supported planes from the Philippine Sea as they shot down two attacking Chinese fighters. After tensions eased, she returned to San Francisco on December 12th and then trained out of San Diego. 
then sailed on May 4, 1955, to join the 7th Fleet in the Far East. Hornet helped to cover the evacuation of Vietnamese from the communist-controlled north to South Vietnam, then ranged from Japan to Forsoma, Okinawa, and the Philippines in readiness training with the 7th Fleet. She returned to San Diego on December 10th and entered the Puget Sound Naval Shipyard the following month for the SCB-125 upgrade, a conversion which included a hurricane bow and the installation of an angled flight deck which permits the simultaneous launching and recovery of an aircraft. Following her modernization overhaul, Hornet operated along the California coast. She departed San Diego on January 21st, 1957 to bolster the strength of the 7th Fleet until her return until her return from the troubled Far East on July 25th. Following a similar cruise January to July 1958, the ship was redesignated CVS-12, anti-submarine warfare support carrier. In August, she entered Puget Sound Naval Shipyard for the conversion work to an ASW carrier. On April 3, 1959, she sailed from Long Beach to join the 7th Fleet in anti-submarine warfare tactics ranging from Japan to Okinawa and the Philippines. She returned home in October for training along the western seaboard. Vietnam and the Space Race, 1960-1970 In the following years, the Hornet was regularly deployed to the 7th Fleet for operations ranging from the coast of South Vietnam to the shores of Japan, the Philippines, and Okinawa. And she also played a key part in the Apollo program as a recovery ship for unmanned and manned space flights. On August 25, 1966, she was on a recovery mission for the flight of AS-202, the second unmanned flight of a production Apollo Command and Service Module. The moon ship rocketed three quarters of the way around the globe in 93 minutes before splashed down near Wake Island. Scorched from the heat of re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere, the Apollo space capsule designed to carry American astronauts to the moon was brought aboard the Hornet after its test. That command module is currently on display on board the Hornet. The Hornet returned to Long Beach on September 8th, but headed back out to the Far East on March 27, 1967. She reached Japan exactly one month later and departed the Sesibo base on May 19th for the war zone. She operated in the Vietnamese waters throughout the first half of 1967. Hornet recovered the astronauts from the first moon landing, Apollo 11, on July 24, 1969. President Nixon was on board to welcome the returning astronauts back to Earth, where they lived in quarantine on board the Hornet prior to the transfer to the Lunar Receiving Laboratory at Houston. The first steps on Earth of the returning moonwalkers, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin, are marked on her hangar deck as part of the Apollo program exhibit. Hornet once again served with the space program with the recovery of Apollo 11 on November 24th. Returning astronauts Charles Conrad and Alan Bean and Richard F. Gordon Jr. were picked up from their splashdown near American Samoa. Retirement 1970 to present. The USS Hornet was decommissioned on June 26, 1970 and mothballed at the Puget Sound Naval Shipyard and Intermediary Maintenance Facility. Hornet was stricken from the Naval Vessel Registry on July 25, 1989. In 1991, she was designated a Natural Historic Landmark. The aircraft carrier was donated to the Aircraft Carrier Hornet Foundation on May 26, 1988. On October 17, 1998, she was opened to the public as the USS Hornet Museum in Alameda, California. The Hornet was designated a California State Historic Landmark in 1999. She is listed on the National Registry of Historic Places. She is number 91002065. Building on her status as an authentically restored aircraft carrier, Hornet could be seen featured in a number of film and television shows. Several TV shows, including a number of Phantom-themed shows, have been recorded on board. 
and in 1997 she was the subject of an episode of the TV series JAG, the season 3 opener titled Ghost Ship. In 2004 she was the set for scenes from the movie Triple X State of the Union, which starred Ice Cube, and portions of the 2007 film Rescue Dawn, which starred Christian Bale were shot on board. Hornet was both the subject and the setting for the independent film Carrier, 2006. Thank you for watching the history of the USS Hornet. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and share your thoughts on this ship or any others you like. We'll see you here next Saturday at 0600. Have a good day.